What's up guys? Today I'll be showing you how I made my VFX for the Menace Adair made. This is the preview. Yeah, so we'll be looking into how I made these energy waves and distortions. So what I used for the edit was this background I made in Blender. It's pretty bad, but like you can't really see anything. So it's a pass. And then the animation. So this is the animation. Everything's cow. Okay, yeah. So I'm not going to do a moving uh, shot. I'll just keep it basic. So first, what you have to decide is what are you actually going to do? Like, what's the theme you're trying to get to? For this one, I took reference from the actual manual. This is how it looks like. So this is how the actual scene in the manga manual looks like. And so you can see a deep purple color, red. Uh, it's, it's, the theme is black and red, or purple, pinky, red, um, any of those. And then obviously crow, uh, cra crows, crows, yeah. What we have to start with is actually matching the theme. So okay, before starting the scene, what I do normally is prepare the lighting for my character, do the background, and then just do all the VFX, effects, all the stuff in between. So now, I'll do lighting for my character. What I normally do is duplicate, add sweep, light sweep. These are the settings I use. This is how it looks like right now. You can disable the bottom layer, change it to cutout, and then deep glow. So this is how it looks like right now and from the reference we can see that the background itself is actually pink dark pink and my one is kind of orange we don't talk about that use hue turn it to a pink style yeah that's that's good enough so now i'll do the vfx everything's already pretty much done you're probably gonna need assets it's probably the easiest way and like the least heavy way so your computer doesn't die what i do is um i use production crate or there is this pack called infinity pack i'll link it down it's paid though it's very expensive i'll be honest but the, the assets are very worth it i'll also link some alternative assets that could be used instead of the ones i'm using so you can pretty much get the same vfx but it's just a little different so the two i'm using is this with like more clutters and like a smoky vapor looking yeah in my edit you can see like there is some like strong purples pinks strong reds technically and then i just have like lots of black smoke everywhere the way i did it was so i first start with the background i added the smoke obviously you gotta play around with it uh, so the way i do it is this the way I did it was this way. And then make sure you turn this on. It makes it so it's like more flowy and smooth. So yeah, this is how it looks. What I do after is pre-comp the effect I just added and then adjust it from the outside. The main reason is later on when I add an effect called chromatic displacement, it messes up. So then what I do is uh, I add this effect called unmo. It removes all the black so now we have just the smoke and we want to make it look black like this black so just add inverse or invert and it's looking kind of good the problem now is it's a little too like it's not dark enough so what you could do is just add curves above unit un unmo and then just increase the brightness yeah that's looking good I would always say tweak your tweak the asset you're using to see what you get what's the best result you can get mm, yeah looking way better now the background is pretty much done the only last step is the distortion that you get from the actual smoke so add chromatic displacement link it to the asset that's pre-combed and these are the settings i use but i would recommend just play around and see what looks good now we have to add the smoke plume to the front so the actual effect looks like it's 3d it's not just two dimensional in the background so just add it and do pretty much the same thing i recommend just copy the previous one and then just paste it so now uh, i would recommend not using the same duration change it up yep look good and pre-comp it again copy the same effects and for the front one it doesn't have to be as dark so yeah, nah, we 
looking good now we add the whisk right now currently viewing it it looks a bit basic but it's all about adjusting so do the same step as before now what i do is as it's pretty slow i just ramp it up see if that works yep but i want faster now that it's done just pre-com do the same thing now we have to add the same effects again but now instead of black we want pink so what the fuck did i just do oh, did, did i just write pink bro what the fuck right. so now instead of black we want to add the color pink and the effect i like to use is vc color vibrance and now just change the color to the one you want for me it's like a pinkish red and it's pretty much there i just need to tweak a little bit of the the curves and then just add deep glow it's looking good now just you can screen it as it's a color and you kind of want it to blend with the background for me right now it's looking a bit too basic so i'll add, i'll increase the curve again and it looks pretty good now we have to do the same step just add the distortion again and for this one i like to use the energy layer so connect to that and for this one you don't want it to be as strong but still noticeable you can also increase the displacement spread so yeah it's pretty much done now just add color correction and we're we'll good so after doing all of that it's done this is what you should be getting um yeah i i think there's a pretty it's actually a pretty good like effect it's basically just compositing like some pre pre-made assets but like if you can use it well you can make some insane stuff um yeah that's pretty much it if this actually helped please subscribe um please let me know what other stuff you'd like to see please make it so it's from something from my edit because i can't be asked making something new um yeah that's pretty much it see you guys